Hello everyone and welcome to the next video. In this video we are going to be looking at one of my favorite features in Civil 3D 2026, which is the mode of viewer. Now if you have used earlier versions of Civil 3D, that is say 2025, basically this is the object viewer on steroids. Now if you wanted to view something in Civil 3D 2025, you have to right click, go to the object viewer and when you try to pan there will be a number of challenges in terms of how elements would be viewed. It was a bit finicky. But now in Civil 3D 2026, all you have to do is open up the new mode of viewer, add all the different elements that you want to view. These can be surfaces, these can be corridors, and these can be uh, pipe networks, it can be anything. And you'll be able to view this in real time. And to update, and you can even save an image. Let's dive this after the intro. So if you open up Civil 3D 2025, remember when we wanted to view something, we used to come here, right click, and click Object Viewer. Now the Object Viewer doesn't go out. It's not removed in 2026. It's still maintained because it also serves a function. And when you try to pan, you'd find that, oh, the, separate would, the surface would separate from the corridor, which is okay. But panning was, was kind of a challenge. And if you needed to view something else, but now you'd still get a good idea of how everything is. You can see how the bench would be and you could see how the earthworks is going. So this was really, really good. Um, the challenge was if you wanted to view something else, there was a challenge. So for example, uh, if I want to view the bridge structure, in this case, I would click open and I would be able to view the bridge structure, but I would not be able to view anything else in relation to this. I'd go to each bit. So for example, I wanted to view the counterweights. Uh, I would just come here and, you know, again, it's the same issue, okay? But now if you open up Civil 3D 2026 and we go to view exactly the same thing, it's a bit different. Again, if you right click on this and you click on object viewer, we still have the same, okay? We still have the same. But now if you go back and op open up Civil 3D and you right click and click add to mode of viewer. Now there are two options. One is zoom to mode of viewer or add to mode of viewer. Now add keeps adding different elements to the mode of viewer and zoom zooms that element in the mode of viewer. Okay, so we're going to just click zoom to mode of viewer and it's going to open up the mode of viewer. And in this case, you can see that the panning is quite very, very good. And I can see a number of, I've left some of these errors just to see how, how important this, how powerful this can be. And we are viewing different elements. Now, again, as I mentioned, you saw two options. So we can now select all the other corridors. We can come here, select this corridor and this, and then you can just right click and select similar. So that it selects everything and you just right click add to mode of viewer. And what's going to do is it's going to add everything else. Now, I have also selected the reference corridors, which I shouldn't have done in this case. But now let me just select only the corridors that I need. Because when I select everything, it selects all my reference surface corridors, which most cases I don't want to view because they're just helping me model uh, this. And remember, uh, this is created in our interchange design course. These are people who support Taiwan Academy. Uh, channel because when they buy the courses uh, we're able to do everything we're doing so you click add to mode of viewer and now when you open up the mode of viewer you can see we are seeing everything else and I've left some of these errors in just for you to see how important this is now you've seen the option of you can zoom something in the mode of viewer so if I come here and I'm like okay uh, let me select this and I click zoom to mode of viewer it tries to go basically to that part and the beauty is you're able to pan around in real time. That's what I really like. So I'm seeing some things which I really don't like. I'm like, okay, that's not looking good. So I can come up and say, okay, uh, what's happening here? Here it is maybe a small issue. And I'm like, okay, how am I going to fix this? So I can go to that area. And the beauty I like about this is it's in real time. So I can come here and I'm like, okay, I'm seeing something there being a bit very funny. So I could just uh, move this up.
So I'm going to just, uh, rebuild the corridors. Rebuild all. Okay. So if I just move this a tiny bit more and I just move it further up, let's say somewhere around here, you can see that issue is fixed. Okay. So if we go somewhere here again, it's the same thing. So it's it's a very good review tool in that can help you uh, fix some of these small things which shouldn't be like a challenge and all because you're able to see the review process in real time. So you can see I'm, I'm literally fixing up all these small elements that are a result of uh, mini corridor overlaps that that happen. We've changed versions and everything seems to be affecting all that. So if if one makes all the other different changes, you would end up with something like this. So I've had all those issues and I've been reviewing them, the corridor being down and now uh, after I made all my changes, I now want to view uh, the corridor with everything. Okay, the counterweights which are here. Right click, add to mode of view, and that open, opens up mode of view. Now I'm able to view everything. So I can view the structure and the bridge. Okay, so that we've talked about. Now the other amazing thing that we want to be able to do here is one, is that when you, when you open up the mode of viewer, there are a number of elements at the bottom. So there's objects, there's pan, we've looked at pan and orbit, there's zoom, the set view and the save image. So you, you can pan to a part that you like and you say, okay, I need to orbit to this part. I need to share this and you can save an image. But let's start with the objects. Now the object shows you a number of elements. Now next on the right, you can turn off something. So you can turn off, okay, in that case, I don't want to see the bridge. I just want to see how the counterweights are affecting and you can see how they've been modeled and all that and how the feature lines are tying in here with, uh, with the minor reference expressway. So you can hide all and you just say, hey, I just really want to look at the counterweights and the second counterweight and the bridge and to see how that works really out well. And this 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 is the power that uh, the mode of viewer has is you can turn off a number of things and now you can click show all. And again, you can save the image. Now, the, other than that, the number of other things you can also do other than this. So you can turn a number of things off, you're panning and viewing in real time. So you can fix up like some of these small errors. These are just very easy errors to fix. Um, but you're just trying to check everything and see how uh, the corridor was modeled, if it makes perfect sense. Now, the next is when you click on settings, the number of things you can do. Um, there's a visual style, there's conceptual. Conceptual is what most cases you're gonna find turned on and you're able to see everything. Uh, there is hidden, where you're able to see anything that's hidden and you're able to pan up and down and all. Uh, the next is shaded. Shaded is what you've been seeing, but my favorite is shaded with edges. Shaded with edges gives you an idea of how things are really modeled and how they really look like um, regarding this. And this makes it extremely very powerful and really good. So I'm going to just stick with this, but you can look at wireframe. Wireframe is what most people would love because in wireframe you can be able to see the different elements of the corridor. And again, remember, as you're seeing this, you can turn off a number of things. Um, you can still say, okay, I want to see the counterweights as always, and the bridge. So with wireframe, you're able to, um, uh, in detail, share this and view it. And again, you can come up and take images. I feel this is very good for like reports. You can come here and say, oh, let me save this image and you can always like, use it in the reports if you need to. And maybe you say shaded um, a good section in the report and it's in real time. That's something I really love. Now, other than this, I had a question. I was like, okay, for example, uh, can this work if you have like a 60 kilometer road? Are you able to see the whole design? Then the next question I had, if like the surface is light and it's very large, are you able to view? So we're going to answer those two questions. If you like videos like this, remember to click the like button and also subscribe to highwayacademy.net. 
doing that really helps us out and makes the video go to other people. So I have here a road uh, where we did almost um, 95 kilometers of the road and this is the corridor. And when I right click, zoom to mode viewer, I mean, everything is there. You can see the whole corridor for the road and with basis on what you would want. Uh, in this case, it's have shaded with edges and you're able to see the start, pan all the way, see all the different elements. That's why we had a bridge and that's why we had a second bridge. And you're able to see all these different elements. The part I feel is really missing is I'm not in any way able to see changes. Maybe it's not something I know how to do, but for now, uh, this is it. This is why there's a huge bridge on the river, but we are able to see uh, the corridor in that case. Now, if you open up another drawing where well, we're seeing uh, lighter surfaces is, I'm just opening up this drawing where I had like we had so many surfaces captured during different years. There were topos captured in 2018 up to now. There's, there's a lot. So um, the one thing I want to see is that I'm able to view that. So this is uh, the lighter surface. And if we go to object viewer, object viewer used to show it. And it wasn't bad, you know. Um, it's still good. Um, you can also check that. But now with the newer one, which makes it quite very easy, you can click add to mode viewer take some time but now it's here so and now I'm able to pan and say oh this is the river Nile and I'm, I'm having a good appreciation of okay um the surface seems okay and you can see it's a very heavy surface um, may look like but it's quite very heavy and um, but the beauty with this is you're able to view both of them because I was a bit worried where I was like okay maybe this is for viewing very short sections and very complex sections but I mean However they build this, I'm really impressed. So I hope this is a feature you love and you're able to use every day. For me, it's one of the features that will make me upgrade Civil 3D 2026. And I hope it's sufficient for you to be able to do this. Okay, otherwise, um, I hope to see you in the next video where we talk about any other features that are new in Civil 3D 2026. Head on over to highwayacademy.net. We offer a fantastic range of courses covering everything from the intricate design of roundabouts and complex junctions to the engineering marvels of tunnels, flyovers, and interchanges. Whether you're just starting out or looking to expand your existing knowledge, Highway Academy has something valuable to offer. So don't hesitate to explore our website, see what courses pique your interest, and take the next step in your highway engineering journey.